اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم آئی سیک ریفیوج ود اللہ فرام شیطان دا سٹون بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ود دا نیم آف اللہ موس گریشیس موس مرسفل السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ پیس اور بلیسنگز آف اللہ تو آل آف یو لیڈیز اور جنٹلمن ویلکم دا ٹاپک as will be which would people who are coming for the first time to the audience to, to this audience is something new you have to know the previous lectures that I have already delivered and I will just give you the names and those lectures are what the Quran says about the Quran itself and then there's a lecture what the Quran says about the book Al-Kitab the book Al-Quran the reading then there's a lecture what the Quran says about Al-Hikmah the wisdom then there's a lecture what the Quran says about Al-Hadith the event narration then there's a lecture I've already delivered what the Quran says about the Torah, the law, and the Injil, the good news, or the gospel. So this lecture of mine is in, in that connection. Alvah means the tablets, Suhuf means the pages, and Zabur means the peace. But generally, people have taken this word as Zabur in the Christendom, <laughs> as the book of David, the Psalms. They translate that word as Psalms. You must have a, dis a distinction in your mind that the Arabic language is spoken by the Jews, is spoken by the Christians and Muslims. This is not an Islamic language. It's a language created by God Almighty. So in the dictionaries you'll find the translations of the words so certain words are translated generally by the prevailing concept with the Christian that has in his mind as like for example Zabur the word we will find in the dictionary as translated as Psalms a book in the Old Testament which is referred as the book of David Dawud al-Islam Psalms and Torah as instruction a book given to Moses and a book given to Jesus is Injil, the gospel. So you must know when you I, I say when I say what the Quran says about the Torah, or what the Quran says about Zabur, or what the Quran says about Alvar the Sof, I am referring to the ayats within the book. But at the same time, there are words similar to the similar words referred into the Bible. And these people, the Jews and the Christians, have translated that words into their books. So a person who is a Muslim, when looking up at the dictionary, try to understand what the Arabic text says in the meaning in it. But the people who have got a Bible in the Christian people are looking, looking at the same dictionary. Dictionaries are not by Muslims or not Christians. Dictionary is a book compiled by the different people to, to identify that this word is referred as Psalm, suppose, in the book of Bible, and the Zabur means a peace also so you have to use your mind whether Quran is speaking about the Psalms or is speaking about Zabur or is speaking about Torah the Quran means well, Torah means the law of the Quran and Torah means the instruction in the Hebrew so this is the confusion going on a similar word which has got concepts are different so first of all I would like to explain to you what is the book you see this book I hold in my hand on it is written the Quran. This is a preview of the lecture that you are going to hear. I am going to speak in my own words so that you can understand because I have already delivered, I told you I have delivered six, seven lectures dealing with other topics to understand this topic. But people who have come for the first time may not understand, comprehend completely what I am trying to say. So I am giving my own words so that you can understand what, what, your, what the lecture is about. This book that I hold in my hand, do you see a book in my hand? Written on it, Al-Quran. So when, whenever a 
book is holding i am holding a book in my hand this is a book quran in arabic means the reading quran means the reading and the book i hold in my written down on a piece of paper or written down anything is a book written down book means writing when something is written whether you write on a computer disk or you write on a piece of paper or you write in your mind it will is written down otherwise you have got a blank page like for example you go and buy a copy blank copy it is nothing is written down it's a blank but once you write on it it becomes a book meaning something written on it so this book i hold in my hand is a book so quran speaks about al kitab the word arabic word the book 230 times in the book so now in this book you will hear the writing in this book written in this book you will find written down quran shahr ramadan alladhi unzila fi al quran ramzan is the month in which the quran was sent down so in the same book the word quran is written so the quran means the reading so the reading the quran word has occurred in the book written down 70 times so in this continuity the lecture you are going to hear is what are, is al wah the tablets and what are the pages the sahaf sahifa means page this page like page this one page i this is page is sahifa sahaf means page and zabur means species zabur is the the za ba wa wa when is with zabur like rasul with waw means one messenger or zabur with one is zabur one one piece zubur without waw it means too many pieces pieces number of pieces like rasul one messenger rusul many messengers so this is the plural of zabur singular we know that it was given to daud alayhi salam is mentioned in the quran also but what was given to daud alayhi salam that we'll hear today so in this you must understand what context you are going to hear this lecture this is the context so ladies and gentlemen i and most of the people so called uh, the whole world scholars muslim scholars agree less what we they agree they say that this book quran has got above some attributes of the book like allah is one with above 100 attributes meaning allah is ar rahman most gracious rahim most merciful allah is jabbar qahar hakim wise so they are not 100 gods they are one allah with above 100 qualities or attributes about his personality similarly the book of allah the book of allah contains above 30 or uh, 30, more than 30 attributes of the book so all the scholars of the world agree in this which i'm going to say i'm going to read now you open the page first page this this where it is mentioned like this attributes or the names of al kitab the book you see in the, uh, the i'm just going to read the arabic and the meaning the first word is mentioned al quran what i'm reading is attributes or the names of al kitab the book what i'm going to read is being confirmed by all the scholars of the world muslim scholars but what is the difference i will also explain the quran al quran means the reading all the muslim scholar agrees this is the quran al kitab when i say al kitab they say this is al kitab the book then what is the furqan the criterion they say this this is the quran is the criterion furqan what is the burhan the evidence the, they say the quran is the burhan the evidence what is the sultan the authority they say the sultan is this quran the authority what is the hikma the wisdom the quran is the wisdom is that is god's the wisdom hidayah where is the guidance the quran has the guidance what is the nazil the revelation the quran is the revelation revelation 
Then what is the wahi? Inspiration. The Quran is the inspiration. What is kalam? Word of Allah. This is the word of Allah. Quran. What is the uh, basair? The insight. This Quran gives you insight. Basair. What, where are the ayahs of Allah? Is the Quran. The ayahs, verses of the Quran. Is the, is the, is the, Quran, is the attribute of the Quran. Al-Majid. It is glorious. The glorious. Ajib is amazing. The Quran is ajib, amazing. An-Nur, the light. Asal Hadith. They say Asal Hadith is this. Asal Qasas, most beautiful relationship is in the Quran. Amthal, there are many examples, is mentioned in the Quran. Mawza, the sermon, mentioned in the Quran. Az-Zikr, the remembrance, mentioned in the Quran. Ziya, uh, shine, mentioned in the Quran. Bayinat, clarification, mentioned in the Quran. Risalat, messages, in, mentioned in the Quran. Amba, prophecies or news, mentioned in the Quran. Al Qawl, the saying, mentioned in the Quran. Sharia, mentioned in the Quran. Al Amr, mentioned in the Quran, the order. Al Amrillah, order of Allah. Al Haq, the truth, mentioned in the Quran. Al Ilm, the knowledge. All to be found in the Quran. But once you were looking at this page, I missed three or four. I missed the Torah. You look at the first page again. The second word is the Torah. Did I wrote? Did I speak Torah? No. Why? Because these guys say the Torah is to be found in the Bible. You have to read. When you read the Torah, you look at the Bible. Why should I look at the Bible? When everything I read in the Quran, I'm looking here. But when I read about the Torah, I should look here. Why should I look here in the Bible, a separate book of the Jews? Why should I look it there? So I'm telling you today, the Torah is in the Quran, you look here. So the word Injil I also mixed out. So if you ask them, they say Torah, Injil and Zabur. You look in the Bible and you look here for Torah, Injil and Zabur. So I have already delivered lecture. The Torah is here, Injil is here, Zabur, uh, Zabur uh, today is going to hear. So you are going to find here, you are reading here, why are you looking in the other book? So that means Musa was given this book. All the prophets got this book. So book becomes one. Prophets becomes in plural. So you must understand what Allah, the tablets were given to Musa, peace be upon him. Allah, the tablets. What are those Allah? I have established this book, given to Musa, peace be upon him. But what are those Allah, the tablets given to Musa, peace be upon him? Qala ya Musa, in nistafaituka ala nas bi risalati wa bi kalami fakhud ma ataituka wa kum min al shakirin. He said, Allah said, O oh Musa, surely I have chosen you on mankind with my risalat, my messages. And with my kalam, words, so hold fast to what I give you and become of those who are thankful. So we are trying to analyze what was, I, I've, already, I've already read that what book was given to Musa, you know this, the book is the same. But now we are saying how Allah gave. He says, O oh Musa, surely, surely I have chosen you. Musa, peace be upon him, was chosen by Allah. And he says, Allah nas over mankind. Be the salati, the salat, you understand the salat? It comes from the root letter, Rasala, Rasul. With my messages, where are the messages of Allah? And we be kalami and my words. Where are the messages and the words of Allah? Come on. In the Old Testament? You are reading in the Old Testament. Here are the words of Allah. Here is the kalam of Allah. No. In this book, Allah says, I have chosen you over mankind, be risalati with my messages, wa bi kalami with my words. Fakhudma and hold fast to it. Ma ataitu what I give you. Wa kum mina shakirin and you become of those who are thankful. So this is the first 
I'm reading the I mean, I had to tell you how the Allah you will understand. First, you will understand that Allah has chosen Musa, peace be upon him, with his messages, with his kalam, the words, and, and he said, what I give you, hold fast to it. And now you read the second, second ayah, 145, Surah Al-Araf 7, 145, وَكَتَبْنَا لَهُ فِي الْأَلْوَحْ مِنْ كُلِّ الشَّيْءٍ مَوْعِذَةٍ وَتَفْسِيلًا لِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ فَخُذْهَا بِقُوَّةٍ وَأْمُرْ قَوْمَكَ يَأْخُذُوا بِأَحْسَنِهَا سَوْرِيكُمْ دَارَ الْفَاسِقِينَ And we wrote for him in the Allah, the tablets, sermon for everything, an explanation for everything. So hold fast to it with strength and order your people that they should hold it beautifully. Soon I will show you the circle of Fasikun, the liberals. Now, you see, if you look in the first phrase of that ayah, wa katabna lahu fil alwah. We wrote for Musa for him alwah in the tablets. What do you understand? We wrote. Who wrote? Allah wrote. Allah wrote. Think. Allah wrote. Allah wrote that salah, that kalam, kalam we read, we salati and the words. We lahu fil alwah in the tablets. So, in, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to understand what are those tablets. That's the lecture today you are hearing. What are those tablets in which Allah wrote in the tablets? What he wrote? Min kulli shay'im maw'ida. The sermons for everything. Everything you think, it is written down by Allah Himself in the tablets. Wa tafsira li kulli shay'in. And an explanation of for everything. For everything he explained, he wrote it down in the Allah, the tablets. And further he said, فَخُذْهَا بِقُوَّةِ and you, Musa, peace be upon you, hold fast to it. The Allah, the tablets, in which Allah wrote the, the, the sermon of everything and the explanation of everything. So hold fast to the strength and order your people, wa'mur qawmaka, and order your people that they should hold it beautifully. Are you thinking of Jews or are you thinking of Moses of the Bible at this moment? I'm asking you, believe me. You are hearing Quranic ayahs and is not Musa your messenger? Is he not? So he is asking his people, you are the Jews. What was written down to him in the Alwa? Who are the people of Musa? Peace be upon him. Come on, you Jews or Jews or you? So you must understand what Musa was given. He, Allah, Musa said to Musa, Wa'mur qawmuka. Order your people to hold fast it beautifully. What was to behold the Allah, the tablets? And what is written in the tablets? What is written in the tablets? The sermons of everything and a, an explanation of everything was given to Musa in the tablets. What are those tablets? Where is that tablets that people are holding? Anyone who have come for the first time in the audience, not those who know before, I'm asking them, where are those tablets? which Muslim people believe are holding it beautifully. Please, don't speak, who knows? I'm asking those, because Allah says, فَخُذْ هَا بِقُوَّةِ وَأْمُرْ قَوْمَكَ يَاخُذُ بِعَاسِنَا عَاسِنَا So Allah orders, Musa orders the people, his people to hold fast what was given to Musa people, Musa peace be upon him in the Alwa, the tablets. Where are those tablets? in which everything is written and the Muslim people are holding or the Jews are holding. If the Muslim, Muslim people are holding it beautifully, where it is being hold on? Hold, hold. Where is this? Come on, anybody, new one, new people. Can anybody think? That's the topic you are hearing. No? No. Not, nothing comes in your mind. What was given to Musa, peace be upon him, this book? Uh, did, I, did, did you got this book was given to Musa peace be upon or not? Do you agree or not? Huh? Agree. agree. So where this people, where, where this book is being hold, where it is? 
Huh? Where it is? On a piece of paper? Where it is? Come on. Where it is? Huh? Hearts and minds. No, in the tablets of man. Which Allah has given the word tablets. They say this man has this boy, little child, he's got a takhti, a tablet, nothing is written down. You write it down, anything what you write. Don't you know? Don't you say this in your language, takhti, a tablet? This small little boy, he's got a, a tablet which has nothing is written down on it. You people can educate anything, write it down on it. That's the tablet. So Allah gave Moses the, the book. Allah gave to Musa, peace be upon his messages, his words on a tablet and that, that tablet was uh, that tablets was asked by Allah to Musa Islam you order your people to hold it beautifully so the Muslim community are holding it beautifully by memorizing it it is being preserved in the minds and the hearts no in the tablets of man preserved all over all the nationalities of the world are preserving the book of Allah that was given to Musa peace be upon him because he he ordered the people to you hold it fast so Jews have written down their own books the Old Testament says painter too it is not the book of Allah that holding we the Muslim community are holding the book of Allah in the tablet which we say hearts and minds it is basically Allah says as the Allah and who wrote it down in the Allah in the tablets can anybody can explain what is exactly Allah or the tablet in the mind? No scientist can tell. Physically you see the brain, but where is the memory center? Where is this logic center? Where is this center is the brain? In the brain there is a tablet where people are preserving things. And from that tablet people are reciting the Quran, the Hafizah, in the Taravis. So that is written in the tablet. That is the tablet. بَلْ هُوَا قُرْآنٌ مَجِيدٌ فِي لَوْحٍ مَحْفُوزٌ بَلْ And that is the Quran, most glorious, the, there is a glorious Quran, that is a glorious Quran فِي لَوْحٍ مَحْفُوزٌ Preserved in a lawh tablet. So, Musa Salam was ordered his people to preserve it. So, people preserve it where? In the tablet. So Allah says, what is preserved? The reading. What is preserved? The Quran. What is written down? The Allah. Allah wrote it down. The sermon of everything. The explanation of everything. Who wrote it down? Allah. And Quran means reading. So the, what is written down? The tablet, the Imam reads it. It is in the, in the mind, the tablet is there. And he's reading in Alladina Balwa Quran Majid fi Lawhim Mahfuz. Where I'm reading from? From the tablet. Who wrote it there? Allah. Explanation of everything and sermon of everything. But you are reading, Quran means reading. So Quran is a reading which Allah says, Balhuwa Quran Majid, this reading is, is in the law, in the tablet preserved. So when a man, human being reads, he reads from the tablet, is preserved by, by Allah in human beings who, who want to preserve it. Haf, ha, mahfuz means, comes from the root letter hafiza, hafiz sahab, hafiz is mahfuz the Quran. They say hafiz is a person who memorize or preserve the Quran, hafiz. And mahfuz the word means the one who have, it is preserved, the where it is preserved. So the Quran is preserved in a tablet, lawhim mahfuz. It is preserved in the law, the tablet. So every human being has got this tablet, and this was given by Musa. That in the tablet was was written, Allah wrote it down for Musa peace be upon him. And this book was given to Musa peace be upon him. So you know what tablet is today? Anybody doubt that anything which is written in this book? Everything, anything that is in the book is the sermon of everything and explanation of everything written down in this book. So this was wrote by who? By Allah, not on a piece of paper, in the Allah, the tablets of human brain. And that was given to Musa, peace be upon him, and asked him to hold it. 
and it, Allah ordered Musa ordered his people to hold it. So we people, Muslim people, are holding this Ahwa, the tablets, in our mind. And Allah says, Balwa Quran That is the reading. But that is the reading. The Quran is the reading. Fi Lawhim Mahfuz is preserved in the tablet. In the further ayat you see Al Furqan 2530, Wa Qala Rasulu Ya And the messenger will say, surely, uh, surely my Lord, oh my Lord, my people hold fast this Quran, the reading, abandoning it. He wa Allah, you see in the in the Arabic, if you look in the Arabic, you see Arabic is the criteria to judge. If you look in the previous ayat, just once go back once more and I will show you one thing. In the previous ayat, you look in the Arabic. The I am reading from 7.144. Okay? And if you see, Qala ya Musa inni staffaituka ala nasi bi risalati wa bi kalami Fakhuz ma Fakhuz means to hold fast. Fakhuz, so for, hold fast. Fakhuz, Arabic word. Khuz, order. Hold fast. What I give to you. Then the, first, the, the next ayat, it says, And we wrote in the Alwa, the tablets, Min kulli shayin maw'idha. The sermon from everything, And an explanation for everything. Again, hold fast. With strength. Wa'amur, order. Wa'amur means order. Qawmuka, your, your people. Ya khudu, hold fast. You see the word? Two times with Musa, peace be enough. Third time with his people, they hold fast. Ya khudu, be asif, beautifully. And once you come to Surah Furqan 25:30, and Allah says, Wa qala rasul, ya rabbi, inna qawmit takhadu. My people hold fast. Or took. Had al Quran a mahjura abandoning it. So among the people of the people of the Muslim community, there are people who are holding fast the Quran because the order was given by Musa, peace be upon him. But Rasul Messenger complained that they are holding fast and abandoning it. Without understanding they are holding fast. Waqala Rasulu and the Messenger will say, In uh, uh, Ya Rabbi, oh my Lord. Inna qawmit takhadu had al qurana in qawmit takhadu hold fast they were holding fast had al quran this reading they are reading from where from the law of the tablet they are reading it from the tablet from the law and they are abandoning it without understanding they have done it but Allah ordered Musa Islam that he should order the people to hold it fast beautifully meaning with understanding with essence but people did it without understanding and you can see in the world the Quran is uh, the book of Allah coming down from Musa peace be upon him coming with to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and filing the holding fast is within among the mankind in the Muslim community they are holding holding it the book of Allah which was ordered by Musa sallam but abandoning it because we don't understand but we are abandoning but order was to hold it beautifully order was not just hold it and abandoning it hold it beautifully meaning with understanding with the essence. <clears throat> so this is what Allah law you understood I hope so now we will understand what are the pages now in this ayah I am now I am going to discuss what are the pages now uh, you see I, I, I just to, to explain to you I told you this is a book and in the book there are pages can you see the pages can you see these pages you see, page uh, uh, can be a book of paper. This is a book paper page, okay? But at the same time, there if you if you in the computer also you got a page. Page is something that you can write on it. It can be of any material. So what Allah uh, wrote in the pages? What are the pages? Is again like 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 law. The tablet is not physical. It is in the psyche of human being. The alwa, the law just now we have understood is a tablet, is in the, in the psyche of human being where, from where the Quran is being read. Similarly, there are pages in the mind. 
and that are the pages of Allah, not the physical paper. Because if, if you just uh, refer to one more, I write down this reference, uh, 6 and ayah 91. Just write down. It's not in the booklet. I will, exp I will read it afterwards. Just I'm reading first. You write down this reference. Surah Anam 691. <laughs> This is Surah Nam 6 and Ayah 91. And they do not evaluate and, uh, Allah as His true evaluation when they said Allah has not revealed to any human being anything. Say, who has revealed? Al Kitab, the book that Moses came with it, a light and a guidance for mankind. You made it papers. You, mankind, made it papers. You show them and you conceal most of them. And he taught you what you knew not. Neither you nor your ancestor say Allah has revealed that then leave them in their wading sports. Now, why I'm reading this ayah to explain to you in this ayah is mentioned that people did not evaluate Allah as his true evaluation, meaning qadr. They did not did this qadr to Allah as he, they should have done it. Why? Because they said that Allah has not revealed to any human being anything. This is the normal concept of all mankind, especially the non-Muslim. They do not, the scientists and the psychiatrists do not believe that Allah in the true sense reveal uh, to mankind because the process is not happening to mankind so they say it is your hallucinations or delusions and something you are concocting so they put this person into a psychiatric psychiatric walk when he said psychiatric ward when he said that god speaks to me so in this generally people do not believe that allah has revealed something to a human being so Allah says in this ayah, they do not evaluate Allah as his true evaluation when they said that Allah has not revealed on any human being anything. He's not revealed anything. Right? And the, so Allah in answer to that, he says, Qul, say to these people, Man anzal kitab alladhi jabi Musa, nuram wa hudal linnas. So Allah says, say, who revealed Al Kitab, the book that Moses came with it. Nuram Bahudal Nas. It was a light and a guidance for mankind. Taj Alunahu Karatis. You made it on papers. Tubdunaha Watufuna Kasir. You uh, you show it to people and most of it you are hiding it. What? <laughs> You see, did you understand this? I am, you know, I'm reading it, but people are not following it. Allah says, do you, do you, all of you believe that Allah has revealed something on any human being? Anybody in the audience believe this or not? Everybody believes? Everybody believes? Huh? Okay. So, or, or, like, how you see, that when, suppose people here do not believe. Suppose, I, okay, most of the people say they believe, okay, I take it. But suppose the people are sitting in the audience, they do not believe that Allah has revealed on, 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 on any human being anything. Suppose, because Allah says, that is what Allah says, that people do not believe. So in answer to that, what Allah says, say, who revealed the book that Moses came with it? How many people knew now, just now, that Moses came with this book? How many? No, before coming here. You did not know, no? So that's what Allah says. Say, then who revealed the book? Just now, who revealed the book that Moses came with this book? Who revealed this? Just now you came to know. That is revelation. Just now you came to know. He says, say, who revealed the book that Moses came with? A light and a guidance for all mankind. He's saying it right now in this word, right now in this moment. Because you did not know that this book was given to Musa, peace be upon him, before coming to this lecture. So the moment you are hearing it, 
He said, you do not have, do not evaluate Allah as his true evaluation. He started with, وَمَا قَدُ اللَّهَ حَقَّ قَدْرِي It starts like that. You do not evaluate Allah as his true evaluation. When they said, it قَالُوا مَا هَذَرَ اللَّهِ Allah is not revealed on the Bashar human being anything. So in answer to that, he says, قُلْ Say to this people, مَنْ أَنزَلْ Man Anzal Kitab, who revealed the book? Alladi Jabi Musa, to which Musa came with it. Moses came with what book? This book or this book? Musa came with this book or this book? But mostly people know this book. So he says he came with Nuram Wahudalin Nas. It was a light and a guidance for all mankind. This book. So this is Moses' book. And it was written by Allah, by Allah in the Allah, the tablets. And this tablet was given to, to the people and this is how the tablet is here. So Allah says, you made it papers. So people brought on papers. This is what further he said. Taj'alunahu karatis. You made it on papers. So the book is reprinted in, the, in this printing market, you know, printing. You are doing it. Tubdunaha wa tukhfuna kaseer. So I am reading this ayat to explain to you that the, Allah did not send a book down on a piece of paper. That is done by man. <laughs> you, when I am holding this book, I am holding a book of Allah on a piece of paper. Man made it. So Allah said, you made it papers. You made it on papers. You are hiding most of it and you are telling little to people. Most of it you are hiding it. So what I am saying is, that the, the Allah sent down, Allah is in the, uh, what Allah wrote, uh, not a piece of paper, Allah wrote in the tablets. And that tablet is in the mind and heart of human beings, in the, that Allah, law, Quran, where the people are reading the Quran from it. It's not a piece of paper. So now I'm going to read the Sohaf. I will explain in like here on this book about the pages. But remember the pages is, is again in the, in the human brain. Where Allah wrote in the Soho of the pages. What are the pages? Now we have to understand the pages. I will do, I was holding this book of, of a piece of paper, but you are understanding, I was demonstrating. But we have come to know that the preservation is done by Allah in the Allah, the tablets. Now, and the book was given to Musa, peace be upon him. I have already read that ayat. And now we will see what pages. I will demonstrate here, you will understand here about the pages. I will demonstrate, you will understand the Allah, the law, the tablet. Similarly, the pages. Now, we are reading the ayahs of pages. 